currently Monday night and I'm coming at you uh, at a brisk 7.50 p.m. I just took a Pilates class. It was by far the hardest Pilates class I've ever taken and it was a beginner class. It was the beginner one where they teach you how to do everything and I have never shaken like I shook before. And even right now, like I can feel my butt quivering. I just got home a little while ago, but I'm proud of myself for going. I'm going, I'm supposed to go again in a couple days. I don't know if I'm gonna make it based on my soreness. Like I've never felt instant soreness like that before. But yesterday was so much fun seeing my family. Today I had a very fun day just hanging out with friends. This morning I went to the doctor, hung out with Chesco and Ollie, and then went to the mall. And then just went to Pilates and now I'm home and we need to make some dinner. But before then I thought I would do a little mall haul for everybody. <laughs> okay guys, so I went to Hermes and I bought a burk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I went to Hermes and I've never actually shopped at Hermes before in my entire life, but I grabbed a few things and I thought that I would share them with you guys. Yes, this store is obviously very, very, very expensive, but I got a couple investment pieces and then also something that I've been wanting functionally for a while. So as functional as Hermes can get. Went to the store and got a couple things. First up, I have my empty gum container for my car that I need to dispose of. Okay, are you ready, Cal, for my haul? I'm ready. Okay, so first up, I got this beautiful box. Wow, I've never like unboxed an orange box before. This is so exciting. You guys know when we went to Tokyo, I purchased a, a used Birkin 30. I'm not sure the shade name. I was telling the guy at the store and he's like, well, what shade is it? I was like, it's, it's white. He was like, no, no, there's like a name. I was like, it's white. <laughs> I'm not sure what shade of white, but it is white with, uh, I know it's called palladium hardware, which is the silver. And so basically I'll get to that after. Or actually I'll start with that. Cause it's, uh, it's not as exciting as this. Look how cute these little boxes are. They look like little film canisters. So this is called a Twilly. And as I just said, you guys know, I bought the white bag, which I love so, so much. And she's so beautiful and I am so so incredibly careful and will always be careful with her when I wear her. But obviously the whole thing is like constantly at risk for getting dirty and stains and like it's inevitable that that's fine, but I would like to prevent it as much as I can. And they make these things called twillies, which are basically like little, almost like bandanas or like little handkerchiefs that you wrap around the handles or you can tie it to like accessorize. Now when I wrap this around, I can wear the bag a lot more frequently without worrying about it like, getting stained and patinaing and all the things. So I got this gorgeous guy right here. Again, they were all kind of crazy and they all had kind of crazy prints. This one though spoke to me because it has seahorses on it. Look at that. It's coral. It's got some baby blue. And then once you actually like tie it around the handle, you really don't see like the actual design. You just kind of see like the colors. And I, I like the design. I thought it was the cool. The design is very cool. Thank you. I thought so too, honestly. I was like drawn to it, obviously, because you guys know. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even like look that closely. There are seahorses eating ice cream. Cream. Wait, I'm actually obsessed with that. That's so cute. I just saw this side, which is just the seahorses hanging out, but super cute. I got two of them because again, it's a white purse. So the handles are very susceptible to literally everything. There's like sharks on here. It's just very aquatic. You guys know I'm very interested in everything under the sea. So I thought that it was fitting and I love the pink and the blue and the coral. And again, they all were kind of crazy prints, but I'm gonna place it very nicely back into my little container. Perfect. So I got two of the same ones and then I can wrap them around each handle and you know, hopefully keep it nice and protected. Then I got two more things, both in the same category. I got two belts. They didn't have one of them in my size, so I am getting shipped that one, but I've been needing some new belts just to accessorize in general. My mom took my Chanel belt from me, so I don't have that anymore. So I wanted to get some nice belts that will last me my entire lifetime. First up, I got this really pretty little tiny skinny belt like this. It's like a creamy, taupey white color and it just is like a very skinny belt. Again, nothing crazy, but you know, I can wear this around my waist if I wanna, you know, cinch in, whether it's like a jacket or a dress. I was picturing like very much during like summer and springtime wearing like a billowy dress and kind of belting it in the waist because I'm a millennial and I like belting my things at the waist. So it's super pretty. It's just very simple, just a cream color belt with that buckle. And then for the second belt, I got a thicker like regular belt to wear on jeans, on skirts, skirts around the waist actually, or like, you know, normal pants. Like that one's more for like tummy. This one's for like normal waist. And this one, I just got like a plain silver buckle, nothing crazy. And then the actual like belt that I got is black on one side, white on the other, reversible. So two for one, which is awesome. And now I literally don't need another belt ever. I only wear silver and I can pretty much wear now between the white, the cream and the black 
everything. So that's what I got. Those are my first purchases ever and I am very excited about all of them. Everything came in like cute little bags. I love it. And now let's make some dinner. Okay, salmon is cooking in the air fryer. Yay! Oh yes, that's perfect. Okay, we're gonna do some garlic sauteed spinach. We're like, <laughs> what veggies do we have? Garlic sauteed spinach and then the salmon, all I did was I mixed together like three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, maybe like a tablespoon or two of hot honey with a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of, I think a little water. I think that might've been it. Oh, oh, and fresh minced garlic. I mixed that all up together, marinated it for the past like day or so, threw that in the air fryer. And then now we're gonna also serve it up with our kimchi here, which I am so excited about. This is from one of my favorite Korean barbecue restaurants in Koreatown called Parks. And their kimchi is extra good because they make it fresh. And okay, it's not as good for you like gut wise, because if you guys didn't know, kimchi is amazing for you because it's full of probiotics. It's fermented. I personally love kimchi though when it's really fresh and not like sour tasting, which means it's not as fermented, which means it's not as good for the gut. But it's so delicious. I've actually never tried the to-go one. My aunt dropped this off the other day because she ordered too many of them. <gasps> it smells so good. And if it tastes like the restaurant, then this will be my favorite kimchi. Oh my God, um, it's so good. Mm. I could eat buckets of this. I just looked at the packaging and it, the only ingredients, well, it just says beef, water, and salt. Ooh, it's spicy. <laughs> Me blowing on it. I think there's like a beef powder or beef flavor. Like it's got a really nice umami taste. Put some on your cheese and cracker. <laughs> yeah? korean fried cheese and crackers. That's you and me in a snack. <laughs> Got a good LOL out of that one. That's so funny. It's good. How is it with the cheese and cracker? Good? It's perfect. You know what it reminds me of? When we went to, <gasps> I'm making some. I prepared two club crackers. Two crackers. Pull them up over here. Thank you, sir. Just a little bit of cream cheese right on there. The creaminess, I know it sounds crazy, guys, and I thought it was crazy too, but the creaminess of the cream cheese with the spiciness of the kimchi, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is the Green Valley lactose-free cream cheese. I think it tastes like regular cream cheese. Oh my God, actually I'm so excited about this right now. With kimchi, I like the leaves more than I like the actual like stem part of the cabbage, but I'll take what I can get. Okay, babe. Oh, I'm so excited about this kimchi. I'm gonna eat like a big bucket full every day. Here you go, my love. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Does that look any good? Does that look any good? The perfect snack. It's so good. Oh my god. The it's tanginess, so good. the creaminess, the butteriness. I'm fire. Yeah, mm. that's amazing. Now I'm gonna make some garlic spinach. One sec. That's gonna be my new cheese and crackers snack. Mm. All right, I'm making some garlic sauteed spinach. Ooh, take her out so it doesn't overcook. Perfect. Nice medium rare salmon. We've got a little olive oil on the pan. And I put like maybe a tablespoon and a half or so of some minced garlic. This is the one from the Korean store that I've already gone through a lot of. It's really good and easy to use. And you don't have to chop up any garlic and it's just garlic in there. So I'm toasting this till it becomes nice and fragrant. And then we're gonna add in a ton of spinach. Here we go. She is organic, so make sure you look for any little critters in there. And we all know this is gonna wilt down a ton. So move her around, adding in handful by handful. We got garlic spinach, it's that easy, my friends. It's that easy. That looks good. Wow. 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 I'm also mostly teaching Cal, so he knows for the next time I ask for garlic spinach. Are you obtaining anything, my friend? Uh, this is about a level one Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm good to go. If you need, you can also add a little water, put a lid on top if, if you want to steam it a bit more. I'm also gonna add a little salt, a little pepper. And here is dinner. I took a little chunk out of the middle so I can make sure that it's done. This is the honey mustard glazed salmon. I could add a sauce on top, but I'm just gonna keep it like this. We've got the salmon, spinach, rice, and the kimchi. Looks so good. Okay guys, dinner was absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to prep some breakfast for tomorrow. I still wanna make the Air One copycat breakfast burritos, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time tomorrow and I need something for at least tomorrow, maybe like a snack throughout the day. So that's what I'm gonna make right now and then we'll get to the breakfast burritos, if not tomorrow, the next day. But I have these little containers here. I have four of them. I can't find one, so we're just gonna do three and I'm going to make some chia seed pudding, which is one of my favorite things to have 
for breakfast, as a snack. It's very high in fiber. I think it's delicious. Also, if you have PCOS, I've seen that it is a better option for like a grab and go breakfast than maybe like oats or oatmeal or overnight oats or something like that. To be honest, I'm actually not a really big fan of overnight oats. I like oatmeal, but I love chia pudding. So I am going to show you how we're gonna make some. Hold on, this one is dirty. Let me clean it. Okay, we're nice and clean. I'm gonna make two variations. I'm going to do a chocolate peanut. No, I'm not. I'm doing a chocolate banana and a chocolate cherry. So I have here some frozen dark sweet cherries. I'm gonna do like a chocolate cherry or like a black forest kind of vibe. I love adding these to like smoothies or right now I'm just gonna take a few, maybe like five cherries and I'm going to microwave them till they get nice and soft. So maybe like a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, now in two of them, I'm gonna take a banana. This is a very large banana. So I think I'm gonna do maybe like a third in each or so and I'll save the other third for or either a snack or maybe I'll top them with more banana and I'm just going to mash them in their little containers till they become nice and smooth. This will take me a second. Bananas are mashed. Now I'm gonna take my cherries and put them into this one and also mash that up. Ooh, I'm also gonna do my Sleepy Girl mocktail tonight. I'm in my wellness era. Also, our lemon tree finally has lemons, so I can do some lemon water in the morning with our homegrown lemons. Doesn't that sound great, Cal? What is that? <laughs> okay, I'm squeezing up all the cherries. You don't have to do this step, but I'm gonna do this step because I want to add protein to mine, again, to make it like a full, nice, balanced meal. So I'm gonna do a scoop of protein, chocolate protein to be exact, into each container. I'm doing this now so that I can mix it up and not have it be all clumpy. Thank you, my love. Protein powder, check. Now, I personally like to have a really deep, rich, chocolatey flavor in anything chocolatey that I have. I love dark chocolate. So I'm taking some of this uh, Hershey's Special Dark Cocoa Powder. It's not sweet at all, but it's gonna add some really nice chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna add maybe like a teaspoon and a half or so into each little container. You can also omit this. Also, if you don't like chocolate, you could always do like vanilla protein powder. You could do really anything that you want. I'm just gonna mix these all up till they become nice and hopefully clumpy free, or at least work through a lot of the clumps. Becoming a nice thick paste. I'm gonna start adding in a little coconut milk to thin this out. I like using a coconut milk for my chia pudding, but you can use any milk that you'd like. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in just to loosen it, get our mix in. There we go. I basically just don't want clumpy chunks of protein in my mouth. Also, if you wanna make it super simple, you can just do the coconut milk and the chia seeds, and then in the morning, zhuzh it up, add fruit on top, add granola, add whatever you want. I'm making this way harder than it needs to be, just cause I want to. And then we're also gonna add in about three tablespoons of our chia seeds into here and get it really nice and mixed well. Also, it depends. Do you want your chia seed pudding on the thicker side or on the thinner side? I like mine on the thinner side, kind of like right in between. So I'm gonna do three tablespoons of these and these are a great source of fiber, three tablespoons. If you like it thicker, add more chia seeds. If you like it thinner, add less. Just gonna mix this up really well. All right, and same with our banana mixture. We're gonna do three tablespoons. One, two, three. A little more milk. Boom. All right, now we refrigerate this overnight. And tomorrow morning we will have delicious chia seed pudding. Last thing we're gonna make tonight, I'm gonna make my Sleepy Girl cocktail or mocktail, which you guys know I've been really liking. This is the Moon Juice Magnesi Alm Powder. I'm gonna do a little teaspoon of this right in there. Honestly, I really like this stuff. You want a Sleepy Girl mocktail, my friend? I'm okay, thank you. Just a little bit of some tart cherry juice. This is still my first bottle that I got and I'm not even like halfway through with it. This stuff lasts a really long time. And then you can top it with whatever you want. I was doing the poppy. Maybe I'll try regular water. Let's try some regular water tonight. Maybe it'll just taste like a cranberry juice. Cheers. I actually think I prefer the fizziness of it. Makes it a little bit more fun. and feels more like a mocktail. All right, I'm gonna go take a bath, take a shower, read, go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning because we have a very exciting morning tomorrow, finally. Not finally exciting morning, like finally we're doing something that I've been needing to do. You'll see in the morning. This hair is the direct byproduct of a sleepy girl mocktail. <laughs> I knocked out, you guys. I was like almost like, and then I knocked out, but good morning, it's the next Next morning, the hair is looking wild. I'm gonna tie her up and I'm going to get to walking on the treadmill. I'm gonna get some editing done, but I thought I'd say good morning. I just made my coffee. Let's take a sip together. I did an iced peppermint mocha 
coffee. Mmm! I'm on my last little bit of peppermint mocha, and while I'm sad to see her go, it does taste like Christmas, and I'm ready to move on from the Christmas flavor, so I think I'll finish her in the next day or so. Maybe a little bit more, actually. It needs a little more flavor. Oh no, you know what I'll do? A little peppermint mocha, a little drop of this one. This is sweet and creamy from Tobani. I will say this stuff is, like, really, really strong. You only need, like, a tiny little dot, and it flavors the coffee. Let's have some chia seed pudding for breakfast, shall we? Here we go. Let's give her a taste test. I cannot with the hair. Okay. The texture looks perfect. This is the exact consistency that I like. Kind of gloopy, but not too, not too thick, not too thin. Give it a good mix. I believe this is the chocolate banana one. Here we go. Chocolate banana. Mmm. Very, very faint banana flavor, but the chocolate is amazing. I think it maybe could use a little more banana, or I could do the fresh banana on top. That chocolatey flavor is so good. Wow. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Delicious. Hello, all. Okay, it is later. I just got my hair and makeup done for today's shoot. I didn't tell you guys yet, but we're shooting for assets for this channel. If you guys have seen, I'm still reusing the intro from all of 2023 in my vlogs right now, which every time I post a vlog is slowly killing me because as someone who like is normally a really good planner and normally like 10 steps ahead, I just didn't have time last year to get those made or like all the prepping that it takes because we have to get the phone photos and then from those photos it has to go to my graphic designer who then has to create it. I have to come up with an idea of what I want it to look like. So unfortunately that all got pushed last year and into this year. So that's why I'm just using the old intro still and the outro. But today we are shooting all of the new photos for profile photos, for assets, for intro, outro, slates, all the things, which honestly is like a big deal for a YouTube channel, which I know sounds, it sounds silly, but like it is. So I came up with what I wanted it to look like this year and I am doing two different looks today. We are setting up the living room kitchen area for the photo shoot and this is the glam. So cute. We did the half up half down with a little pink bow that I got on Amazon. I'll link the bows down below. I got a pack of pink. It also came with like a red, a navy, a white. So cute. So this is the look and we did the little half up half down with a little flippy out and I'm doing kind of like one more casual look today and then one more dressy look also for all of the photo shoot. We're starting with the more casual look because we need to steam the fancy look but I am wearing this top. It's like a red halter top top that I got from Revolve. Super cute, stretchy, comfy halter top. And then I'm gonna tuck it into this really cute little khaki skirt. And then the star of the show for this look, which I'm deciding whether I wanna do the pink bow or the red bow. I'm thinking red bow, cause I think I'm gonna do the pink later. But I actually bought this piece on Black Friday and it just arrived like last week. And I was like, oh my God, I have to use this for the shoe. I saw this because Lauren Wolf posted about this brand. And so on Black Friday, they had a really big sale. I think it was like 30% off. And I'm not kidding, I just got it it last week. It took forever to come because I believe they're handmade in, I think like Australia or somewhere overseas. And it's from the brand called Hope Macaulay. And they're these really beautiful, heavy knit cardigans. They had sweaters. And I thought what a fun piece to incorporate into these fun assets that will live on for the year. So we're going to try to put this outfit together. I think I'm going to do the red bow and I will come back in a second when I'm changed. Here is the look, you guys. I think it's actually so cute and I can play around for the photos. You know, like half on, half off. We've got the sweater, the little top, the skirt and then we'll go change the bow to red but adorable i feel like i need to cut my bangs a little shorter because they're kind of getting all over my lip gloss but amanda said the last time i did that it looked bad so i guess i won't <laughs> Okay guys, since we're already glammed and ready for a shoot, I figured why not get my birthday cake early and do a little birthday cake shoot for Instagram. One, it's my birthday in like three weeks. So I got this gorgeous cake made by Roz Got Cake on Instagram. I'll link her down below. She came in clutch and like four days ago, I was like, do you have space for a January 16th pickup? And she said, I do. <laughs> so she made me this beautiful cake that I found on Pinterest that says older, wiser, and hotter than ever. I was gonna do, Murph's I think said, not 30 yet. And I was gonna say like something along those lines, but I thought this was like a little different and cute. So here she is. She's a pink funfetti cake with pink hearts, glitter cherries, and the two nine. And I'm obsessed. She's like the prettiest cake I've ever seen. There we go. Oh my God, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's so time. much pressure. So much pressure. Good job, wait, you got it, you got it, you got it. Yeah, so cute. That She's stuff. mean. Gorgeous, perfect, cute. You got it. Blow. Yay! Cake time. Smoke alarm off. Everybody, time 
time for a cake. Yay! I think I did like Funfetti sprinkles on the inside too. Oh. Or just regular sprinkles. <laughs> not, not Funfetti sprinkles. <laughs> Yum. Okay, everyone needs to take cake home also, please, because we're not going to go through this. Say less. Her buttercream also is insane. It's like so smooth and creamy. Thank you so much. You want cake, bro? <laughs> she said you said I was gonna come find you, don't you worry. Okay. Oh my God, is that not the, oh my God, oh yeah, there's sprinkles on the inside. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Wow, that's actually, I don't think I've gotten her Funfetti yet before. It's the decorating so, looks like so therapeutic. Yeah, I know. Mm. Just taking it as a hobby, just for fun. Mm. It has it on the, the inside The buttercream is really good. <gasps> and it sprinkles like Funfetti on the inside. Mm. Guys, right, so we are done with the photo shoot. I wanted to keep the pink bow on, so I put on this really cute little pink soft sweat shirt from Aritzia. Yay! So cute! Now we're gonna go shoot some more content and then yeah, that's about it for right now. That's a simple update. So much fun. Love it. The cake was so cute. So delicious. Roz got cake on Instagram and I will see you guys very soon. Hello.